Oh, it's becoming way bigger. This is cool. It reminds me of like that. Oh my god. I want the one that isn't orange boss. <laughs> what the? F oh, and Thanatos pulled up. Hold up. This is sick right here. Look at this. Hey, yo, everyone. The new update for the Calamity mod has finally dropped. The changelog for it is gigantic. Check it out for yourselves. I'm obviously not going to go over everything in this video. I am going to go over the things that I think are exciting and cool that they added in. Starting with the weapons. We're going over every single weapon here. This might be like a majority of the video. But the coolest thing about all the weapons they added in is i organize them you know by melee rogue ranged and then we look down here summon look how many summon weapons they added and you love to see it but yeah let's get to it here Let, i guess let's just start with like the mage weapons since there isn't that many of them uh, i will have to probably summon in some bosses here and there to fight because you know most of these weapons are like post moon lord which is probably like the best feature about calamity is how much it expands post moon lord but yeah let's start with this one we got the heresy releases fire and souls upward from a held book as the book is held the power of both increases let's see it Ooh, okay so this is gonna be kind of interesting how you attack with this let's get a let's get a flying boss here i do have a uh, eternity mode on so let, let's see if it helps out a little bit here oh got his ass they home in too which is very nice next up we have rancor aka the thing from star wars okay maybe not a direct reference to that but as you can see the text gets really small i don't know what's up with some of the uh, weapons the text gets really small i guess just to fit in everything i do have to get a little close though to read it cast a magic circle that charges energy and eventually releases a powerful laser burst of controlled maleficent magic the laser causes arms and searing lava to appear on surfaces it touches which harm both you and enemies all right so i disabled eternity mode so we could try this weapon out fully let's see it in action here beautiful great damage honestly uh, it's actually not that great maybe it's because i'm not wearing armor but i think this is a post moon lord weapon so i just had a feeling that it should do like crazy damage but still cool the effects are awesome all right next up is the rainbow party cannon this is a developer item keep that in mind let's see it in action though it sounds cool it looks cool that's all it does Ooh, and then it's got like little fireworks little effects going on very nice uh i don't know what boss to use against sure king slime bro why not can i like uh how does that aiming work is that what i want to know oh you do it beforehand okay so wherever you're aiming that's where it's gonna be stuck aiming at are those coming back down i'm interested no i don't think they're coming back down all right cool those are the mage weapons hopefully i didn't miss anything moving on to the next let's go ahead let's do the ranged weapons here we got this one bullet filled shotgun fires a massive spread of bouncing bullets consumes five bullets per use aim what's that does extra damage to enemies shot at point blank range that would make sense that's usually what shotguns do but look at that look at that that is great quad barrel who all right there we go eternity mode gone let's see it in action boom amazing great gun next up the jailer releases electric mines outwards that connect to each other via arcs do i need anything for this oh this is cool this is pretty cool how many can i shoot just two okay that's a little bit upsetting i wish you could shoot more they go away too but yeah let's see queen b walk into these electric arcs pretty cool i, I wish they stayed longer though i feel like it's way too short but it's still a cool weapon next up after that we got condemnation condemnation whatever the hell you pronounce that fires powerful scarlet bolts suffused with a hateful magics never used that word before hold left click to load up to eight bolts for powerful burst fire hold right click to use the repeater full auto does extra damage to enemy shot at point blank range let's see it so we're loading up and then what do i let go whoa pretty cool and right click is just full auto all right let's see it in action here died right away probably because we're point blank is what i'm assuming no i think it's just because it's a really strong weapon that's why and then let me see let me see the full burst with everything all the shots at once got his ass after that we got surge driver left clicks release a laser ray that explodes on collision right clicks releases a barrage of laser beams that release homing energy on enemy hits uh, that felt really weird to read i don't know if it was just me Ooh, look at this though i'm liking the effects that calamity's been adding with this update a lot of cool effects i'm seeing let's see it against the king slime i don't want to shoot him directly i want to shoot the floor next to him there you go and then the right click is this attack let's go ahead let's see it in action sure why not against skeletron it is daytime skeletron though what is going on 
all right those were the range weapons on to the next let's go over the rogue and melee weapons here starting with the atom splitter those a quantum what the hell is that word superimposed javelin that strikes from numerous timelines at once stealth strikes perform far more simultaneous strikes they really went into the webster's dictionary for this update huh all right i cthulhu sure why not oh look at that that's cool that is pretty cool i like the idea of it that it comes from what was it different universes different timelines that's cool next up the sacrifice throws a sacrificial dagger that lodges themselves in enemies right click causes all stuck daggers to fly back at you and give you life dagger stuck to enemies release blood poisons over time stealth strikes provide yeah, yeah. we get this stealth strike thing uh let's see here hit him hit her boom you land another one and then we call it back and that should heal us cool it's a very slow projectile though but given that it gives you life steal, you know you gotta balance it somehow after that refraction rotor fires a huge prismatic disc shuriken the shuriken shatters moments after impact into homing rockets stealth strike shatter into many more rockets let's see this baby in action boom and then it shatters didn't really make a noise when it shattered did it maybe it does and i just wasn't paying attention let me try one more time no, I don't hear a notes. <laughs> cool, cool weapon. Uh, we got Rem's Revenge, which is melee. Wielded by the most powerful fighter. Summons a blood explosions and lowers enemies' defense on hits. It's a flail. It's an old school flail. Uh, I'm assuming most mods, when uh, they update to 1.4, if they will update to 1.4, that is, they'll probably change flails to the newer version i don't know that just makes sense if they do that but maybe some of them will keep it to the old version next up we got spine of thanatos or thanatos thanatos whatever there's probably a bunch of pronunciations for it i remember this name because he was one of the gods in smite releases three fast metallic whips outward once all three collide a prism of light is shot outward if an enemy is within the line of sight of the whips on collision the light will fire towards it let's see it in action whoa that's pretty sick that's really cool i like it a lot it's like a uh what the hell is that thing called solar eruption but like three of them at once and then it's got a bonus attack on top of that like that thing's got some range to it very nice but on to the next let's do this one violence releases a blazing fork which stays near the mouse and shreds enemies oh nice let's bring out the i for that cool let's bring out the b for it cool very unique weapon and then we got the photon ripper which is also an axe let me cut down a tree this tree right here bye bye whoa this is like a zenith type axe <laughs> okay it says projects a direct stream of hard light teeth at ultra high velocity this weapon is projectiles function as a chainsaw yes sir but let's see it as a weapon look at that literally shredding things apart all right let us move on i believe we're on to the summoner weapons now okay nice all right i grabbed a handful of them no particular order let's start with this one the polyp launcher summons a polyp bunch that launches coil chunks at nearby enemies nature weapon see that it says a little it says nature weapon interesting interesting all right let's see this thing in action i should probably up how many things i could summon there you go hopefully that helps out i believe this is a century though and let's see it in action let's bring in some just regular blue slimes okay i don't know if it aims really hard or if it just shoots it up in the general direction towards it it looks like it could aim a little bit but i can see this being useful especially early game it is an early game one it does 12 damage i hope it's an early game one up next viral sprout summons a sage spirit to fight for you inflicts sage poison a debuff that becomes stronger the more spirits you own cool so i can actually summon this one in it isn't a century okay let me move this polyp over there i got the boys with me let's see it in action kill these zombies Ooh, look at their attacks very unique attack instead of just ramming into monsters like most summons you know they got a little dance they're doing around them very cool on to the next is the death stare rod summons an eye above your head that watches you and shoots at enemies that sounds cool it sounds like sauron can i have multiple it does not seem so is that separate from these summons okay it is so i noticed calamity has a lot more like sentry type summons than uh usual than other mods i guess let's see it in action Ooh, so it's kind of like an eyesore she's a little laser at things cool i like it next up we got the eye of the night or eye of night summons a diseased eyeball that fires cells which attach to enemies and explode very cool i can actually summon in a bunch of these let's see them in action eyes versus eyes okay we might need to tank your enemy 
Well, I want to see the explosion. Okay, tankier than that. Mother slime. Okay, that wasn't that tanky. I don't know why I chose that one. Tortoise. I'm not seeing the explosion. Let's try a giant tortoise. Even bigger. Uh, I don't know. Let's just assume that there's an explosion. Maybe they're killing enemies so fast that we don't see it. Let me summon in like two. Let's see. It. Maybe it is exploding. There's just no noise to signify it. All right, next up, flowers of morality or mortality, my bad. Summons five rainbow flowers over your head. The combined flowers consume two and a half minion slots. Let's see them in action. This is cool. All right, giant tortoise. Wow, they do a good bit of damage. This has definitely got to be a very, very late game post Moon Lord, possibly. Cool, nice to see it. On to the next flesh of infidelity. Summons a tentacled ball of flesh that splashes blood onto enemies. Disgusting. Let me see it in action. We got a bunch of them here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, go ahead. Do some work. Ew. They're definitely trading some diseases right here. All right. On to the next phosphorescent gauntlet. Oh, this is a melee weapon. Okay. This one just got kind of mixed into it. Whatever. Let's check it out anyways. Releases rapid sulfurous punches. On use, you lunge in the direction of the mouse. On collision, you are knocked back. Ah, so kind of like the, uh, looks like it has like the terror grim and, uh, and Arcalis type animation here. Very cool. Uh, so if I hit something, we get launched back. All right. Ooh, okay, cool, cool. Also kind of reminds me of the uh, fist class from uh, Weapon Out. All right, on to the next three here. I have three more on me. Let's check these out. I'll do the weakest one first, which is the slime puppet staff. The ball flies towards nearby enemies and explodes into slime on enemy hits. Does not consume minion slots. Interesting. So this is one of those reusable ones. Uh, I know Thorium has like a snowman reusable one, like this guy right here. I can't actually summon that guy in. Let's bring in some snowballers. Go ahead, boys. So I like summoning weapons like this. You know, it gives the summoner more things to do, especially since we're still not in 1.4 and we don't have a thing we can just whip people with the whole time. But cool. Next up, the Daedalus Golem Staff. I'm expecting this thing to be crazy if it's got Daedalus in it. Summons a Daedalus Golem Soldier that fires pellets and electricity. Shining God of Greed. Whoa. Looking like something out of Steven Universe. All right, boys, we are on a mission, and that mission is to kill the King Slime. Get him. Get his ass. The electricity piercing all the enemies. You love to see it. I honestly expected to kill that slime a lot faster than that. But good job, boys. You can do something now. Next up here. Oh, we got a magic weapon that snuck into the mix. Gruesome Eminence. I'm assuming that's what that says because my mouse is covering it. Summons a gaseous conglomeration of spirits near the cursor at first the spirits will fly wildly this can hurt enemies and players however over time they'll begin to accumulate to create a single controllable monstrosity whoa cool let me summon it against the king slime dang it that did some damage so i want to see what happens if i just hold it for a long time it becomes like one or something like that Oh, it's becoming way bigger. This is cool. It's really cool looking, to say the least. And, like, the fact that you can control it, this is awesome. I love the effects it has. This is dope as hell. Good job, Calamity Creators. All right, let's grab the remaining weapons. Hopefully, the rest of those are all summon weapons. Who the hell knows? Seems like I mixed a lot of things around. All good. Next up, Void Concentration Staff. Summons a foreboding aura that attacks by firing void orbs. Minion damage is increased by 5% while the aura is active. Requires three minion slots to use only one may exist right click to launch a black hole that grows in size Ooh, see it in action here let's see it attack things go ahead okay the aim was a little bit off at first but they do home in so you don't gotta worry that much let's see a black hole in action look at that how big does the black hole grow oh does it like blow up what happened there i summoned an enemy and it blew up try it again and then I'm gonna summon a black hole. And then I'm gonna summon an enemy down here. Damn! Saw how it just sucked him in. Our Wither Blossom Staff summons four decaying flowers over your head. The combined flowers consume two minion slots. Ah, so this is similar to that other flower staff we saw. And this one shoots projectiles. And I'm assuming probably does contact damage. If I could actually, like, make contact. There you go. Next up, the Virid Vanguard summons two blades that rotate around you. Right clicking prompts all blades to fly upwards and redirects towards the mouse. Whoa. All right, I'm right clicking. Okay, was it right clicking prompts? Oh. Does there need to be enemies out? Okay, I, 
I don't know about the right clicking part. The right clicking part is kind of weird. All right, we have Vigilance. Summons a Soul Seeker to fight for you. Very simple. Let's see it in action. That thing looks cool. Go ahead and fight for me. Can I summon multiple? I can. And I like how they form like a triangle around you. This is really cool. All right, next up, we have Perdition. Summons a beacon at the position of the mouse. When a target is manually selected via right click, it releases torrents of souls from below onto the target. Sounds dangerous. Let's see it. Okay, cool. And I'll summon a dude here and I'll right click it. Damn. Good luck escaping that. It's a little loud, but good luck escaping that one. And on to our last set of weapons here. These ones are pretty big ones. They have the little tiny text. So they gotta be pretty big, right? Starting with this one, Metastasis. Summons a Sepulchre to fight for you. While the Sepulchre is active, Brimstone Hearts will begin to appear and orbit you. It will attempt to attack you more and more frequently depending on how many hearts are present. It takes up to four minion slots. Wait, so the thing... What the fuck? Is this what the Sepulchre looks like now? This is terrifying, but also really cool. Let's see it in action. Good job. Uh, I'm going to desummon it because I'm terrified. On to the next. Cinders of Lament summons either Cataclysm or Catastrophe at the mouse position. They will look at you for a moment before charging at you. They can do damage to both you and enemies. I'm not liking these summons that do that. <laughs> I want you to attack the enemy. Yeah. Get the enemy. Where'd you go? Is this like a one-time summon sort of thing? Did they change what uh, Cataclysm and what the hell's other Catastrophe look like? I think they did kind of cool because i'm pretty sure weren't they just uh supreme cal's brother or cal's brothers and they just look like a slightly altered version of cal we have the universe splitter this thing does 18k damage summons an energy field at the mouse cursor after the field has been deployed it begins to summon multiple small beams after several seconds have passed an enormous laser beam appears at the field's position this effect has a cooldown attempt to use this item during the cooldown causes it short circuit and damage you an ancient artifact from previous age it awaits for your command it's a terrible idea but it isn't yours anyways right developer item all right i will spawn in the golem and i will spawn this in Oh my god. <laughs> it does a lot of damage. It reminds me of like the... Oh my god. I want to see you get hit by that. It reminds me of like the Hammer of Dawn from uh, Gears of War. Very cool. It adds a cooldown now. I can't do anything about that. I'll bring in these boys to finish off the goal and get his ass. But yeah, there you go. There was all the weapons. I should just like end the video after that. That's the only thing I should show off, huh? Just kidding. We got some cool things to show off still. Because I'm pretty sure there's some new bosses in this update. Let me store the rest of these away. And uh, on to the accessories here. Some cool accessories. I'm just going to let you guys read them. I don't think we really need to go over them. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to read these. Uh, some of them very shorter than others and easy to read. But most of them got a long, long text you got to read. All right. Let's check out these new uh, bosses and our enemies that they had. All right. So let's look at some new NPCs here. We got one called the Rip pair unit and we got one called the brimstone witch look at this she has a lot of health and it's cal actually because i think this is the new way you're supposed to fight cal i'm just considering moving back to that old cave of mine go ahead you know <laughs> maybe they enjoy minecraft move to that cave what happens if i click enchant oh we get this whole new enchanting system can i move it anywhere i don't think i can move this window can i really not is there like a certain spot i'm supposed to click on brimstone locust not only can i enhance your equipment with potent magic i can also draw the true strength and ascend some of your weaponry to entirely new forms such items are revealed while this item is in your inventory cool cool uh any of these weapons can be ascended i have no idea do i have to actually like put them in my inventory or can i have it have this in my inventory and just like put my mouse over things you know i think it'd be easier if i just looked at the wiki or something all right whatever don't worry about that part cool though cool npc i'm pretty sure supreme cow looks like this now uh because when you go on the wiki supreme cow looks different the picture for supreme cow is way different as you can see right here look at that supreme cow looks just like her all right repair unit let me see oh i'm in the wrong page boom repair unit is this an enemy what what the fuck <laughs> slow down come back here it is an enemy okay got it and now the big one that we all want to see you see these trophies on the back right here right these are the new exo mechs that are supposed to spawn with Draydon. let's bring the boy in i'm hoping that i could just summon him in and there's no uh, requirements or anything for it let's see boom what's up bro don't be too loud oh i feel like he's gonna be loud isn't he i'll turn that down a little bit all right he's talking giving us a little monologue now choose 
Oh shit. Artemis and Apollo, a pair of extremely agile destroyers with pulse cannons. Ares, a heavyweight diabolical monstrosity with four exo super weapons. Thanatos, a serpentine terror with impervious armor and vulnerable laser turrets. I did not say that word right. In innumerable laser turrets. Uh, are two of these worm bosses? I want the one that isn't a worm boss. <laughs> what the fuck? This is cool. This is amazing. We need more stuff like this. Whoa, where's the music at? <laughs> this feels like I'm playing like Contra or something. This boss looks sick. Can I move it? Yeah, I can move it. <laughs> uh, maybe I should like grab a weapon we should attack it with or something. There's legit like no music at all. Let's use this weapon. This should be a good weapon to attack with. That's a lot of health actually. Maybe I should just, you know, use the Toma manipulation. What is happening? This is Apollo and Artemis? Okay, so these two aren't worm bosses. Oh, and Thanatos pulled up. Oh, look. I'm not gonna lie. This is loud as hell. <laughs> I'm turning the volume way down. All right, but we get to see what the other ones look like. And it's pretty cool. I like uh, Artemis and Apollo. They seem sick. And then it seems like the more damage you do, you know, it phases one of them out. They kind of like tag team in and out. So if I kill these ones, we should move on to like a whole other one coming in. This dude is loud as hell. And if I kill him, which, where's his weak spot? Is his tail? Boom, look who comes back. Ares comes back, which is really cool. I like the idea of them, like, tag teaming in and out, combining together to fight you. Like, you really gotta be built different for this fight. You gotta have the best of the best on. But yeah, let's, uh, let's kill this dude. I like the fact that I think you gotta wait for the pieces of his armor to, like, open up. You see the ones with the red eyes that open up? Because I think you do more damage to them when they're open. Very, very cool, very unique. I don't like how loud he is. With 13 vol- 14 volume, bro, and my ears are still being blasted. All right, there you go. Thanatos is dead. Let's go ahead. Let's finish Ares off here. Ares is probably the coolest looking one. Not gonna lie. Ooh, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> this is sick right here. Look at this. Look at me juke it. Ooh, good job, Game Raiders. All right, let's finish him off, though. Let's see what happens when we finish him. Boom. What you gotta say, Draydon? Okay. You saying a bunch of stuff in the bottom left? You guys can read it. I'm not, I'm not gonna role play as Draydon. See you later, bro. <laughs> so pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think all of them are really cool. Maybe the one I would say is the least cool is Thanatos because he's a worm. I'm kind of tired of seeing worm bosses in Terraria mods. But oh well, what can you do? But yeah, you get a bunch of cool weapons. Some of these weapons we already checked out. And then there's some other stuff. Very cool. Ares mask. Nice. Uh, I think my favorite one, though, is definitely Ares which he was the one up top. And then I liked Apollo and Artemis. They were nice. They're very cool too. Very different. So a couple more things before we end this video off. I don't really want to dive too much deeper into things. There's so much they added in with this update. They overhauled bosses. They added in malice mode, which is another difficulty mode along with death mode and revengeance. Like literally the changelog is gigantic. I'm looking at it right now. I'm just scrolling around on it and it's crazy how big it is. So if you guys want to read every single detail, make sure to go on their wiki and Go to the changelog section. One more thing I do want to check out is it says that this update reworked several core vanilla terrarium mechanics, including the Goblin Tinkerer's Reforge system. So this mod is becoming more and more, more and more of its just own mod. You got to play it by itself. You can't really combine it with other mods. So if any like people are trying to make like big mod packs, probably don't include Calamity in it if you don't want it to like rework everything and mess with other mods and stuff. All right, I found on the wiki what they meant by uh, change the mechanics of it. I'll put it on the screen right here. But yeah, I think we end this video here there's so much more content to explore i can't put all of it in one video this video is already long as hell just from the weapons alone check out the calamity mod update it's cool Draydon finally you know they've been talking about Draydon for forever and he's finally here but yeah check out the mod download it shout out to the calamity mod developers good job i'll see y'all next time